What's up guys, welcome to this handsome video that we're going to be uh, doing for the poles, the hot home poles. This is a new Bluetooth portable amplifier and it's not going to be a review by any means. Uh, we have great reviews out there, I hope you, you have watched them. Uh, for example, Jay Palmer, Brett Kidman, uh, Taylor Danley and Guitar Max just to name a few, and they did a great job. And of course, they're reviewers and they will give you their uh, insight. And of course, you can choose the one that you prefer, the one that you trust to get those um, impressions, let's say. Now, I'm going to be just playing some of the presets. Um, I'm going to choose some, some of the, the clean tones and some of the drive tones high gain and even some some acoustic acoustic simulation and some of the crazy ones at the end to to have some fun so i'm going to start telling you about the gear that we're going to use it's going to be very very simple most of the of the videos i've watched the guys are taking the uh, sound out of the headphones um output, which is great because it gives you super pristine and professional and, and clear tone. Um, but in this case, uh, I, I chose to, to do something different to get more a feel of, a, of an amp and less of a multi-effect, right? Um, so uh, I grabbed just this, the, the, the crappiest microphone that I have around, that is this 58 with that uh, uh, mic stand and that's it. What you're going to, to hear through the whole video is just that 58 uh, that is beating to hell, by the way, um, straight into the, the audio interface, and that's, that's pretty much it. And I'm going to cut any other microphone so you can hear just that 58 in front of the um, poles. The only thing that we're going to be missing in this way, of course, is the function, the, the Space Plus feature of the amp that gives you that um, overwhelming stereo or stereo plus or 3d plus i don't know how to call it but a super uh, interesting feature that gives you a very uh, warm and and surrounding sound uh, not like a single spear amp that you were kind of used to that um, the point uh, with that is that Making videos to show amplifiers is not an easy thing because unlike multi-effects or any other pedal or even guitars, you need to, well, maybe guitars are the other exception, you need to feel it. I mean, you need to be in, in the room with the amp to understand what the amp really does or how it feels or how it sounds. Uh, you, you need to get that air moving around you. And so it's, it's going to be uh, and, and this goes for any video actually, especially this one. Uh, so I strongly recommend you to try to, to get in front of one of these for real, to really know uh, what the amp feels like. Okay guys, now it's time to show you a little bit about the interface or what you're going to find when you have the amp uh, next to you. It's very, very simple, very minimalistic and, and, and clean. Um, so on top, you have the power button here, your instrument input, okay, your auxiliary input for, for example, playing some, uh, some tracks on your phone or whatever, you can use this. Of course, you can do it uh, via Bluetooth as well, but you do have a uh, cable connection in case you want it or need it. Then you have your headphones out, which can also serve you as an output if you want to have the sound of pulse straight into your audio interface or something else. In the back, there's nothing much, not much going on. It's just the, the power um, socket and a USB-C for updating the firmware. Um, also has a little reset button in case you need it. The screen, the big knob on the front, and that's pretty much it. Very clean, very nice. It will let you focus on the important thing that is playing, right? Okay, now let's take a look uh, 
a closer look to the, the screen and the touch screen and the, and the UI, that that's probably the most interesting part. We're going to turn it on, so you can see the boot sequence. It has the pulse there. And that's it. Okay, right there, very quick, just a few seconds and you're ready to play. Um, you're going to see some familiar skin there, probably it has some, some Ampera flavor, uh, but it's quite different in some, in some way. So, first of all, um, I'm going to take a look to the settings. So, if you click here in the top uh, left corner, you have tuner, uh, the drum, and the settings. So, clicking in the settings, you have the audio settings, the, your input, uh, your instrument volume, and your Bluetooth volume, auxiliary in volume, and the on-off for the space that we will talk about later about that. Space Plus, that is one of the features of this Pulse amp. So that's regarding the audio menu. Then we have display, you have the language. And let's see which other languages we have. Uh, Chinese, uh, and what else? Well, only just Chinese and English uh, for this version. Uh, then you have the screen uh, display time. You can set it up to, to auto off at certain time. The theme color you can change. Wow, this is cool. But it doesn't only change the, the menus, it also changes the uh, the ambient lights that the, the amp has on, on the front. So you can choose between all these great options. I'm going to stick to gold. Uh, what else? Uh, we have the knob type, so you can change the format of, of these knobs. For example, this style or more like uh, this has some, some gradient and this one, that is like a progress bar that you can adjust uh, in that way. But I like, I like these ones. All right, um, screen brightness. You can change, of course, this, the brightness of the screen. I have it for this video at 100%. It's not needed actually for normal use. Um, the ambient or atmosphere, light, brightness, you can change that also. It will change the brightness in the front of the, 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 the amp. I will show you that in a second. Let me zoom out so you can see how it changes that. Okay, by the way, we can also show you how change uh, the color of the light, for, for example, here I'm going to change to rose and blue. All right, this, this is pretty cool. Okay, green, red, it's not bad. Okay, let's keep it in gold. It's a bit more posh. Okay, let's get back to the screen. There you go. So, um, We have the, the lights, intensity there. About, this is, is showing there's a firmware version 1.0.6. And finally, the reset, okay? Uh, you can reset different things like the uh, song list, um, the reset, uh, the, to reset the settings also, and finally a factory reset that will get back the amp to the original state. So that for settings. Then we have the tuner here. I'm going to show you in a second how uh, that works. I need to grab my guitar. All right, here with my guitar. Well, no surprise, the, the tuner is extremely quick. Extremely quick. Basically, like an Ampero 2 tuner, not surprisingly, and stays very, very... It, it doesn't hunt the, the notes. It just stays on the money. 
right where we want to, around the area. So that's the tuner, very nice. Okay, let's get back to the, uh, this menu that we have the drum. And well, what you're going to listen to the drum here is uh, the, the microphone and the lavalier that I'm using to, to speak. But uh, basically, uh, you have all the beats and the different variations of those beats. Uh, a tap tempo, you can also select the, the speed of the drum here with the BPM knob and of course the volume. So I'm going to change the volume, change the BPM. This is the tap tempo. Pretty cool feature. Now, before going into how to how how you select the the presets, etc., let's keep exploring this this top menu here. So, okay, the first the first part we already uh, checked. You have the tuner, the the drum, and the settings. Now, the second the second button here switches between this view and the preset name. Okay, this view is uh, the control for the the, the amp, let's say, and between these two, you can switch between the control for the amp and uh, the preset name. And the fourth button here allows you to start and stop the drum without getting in the drum menu, which is a nice addition. Um, then, well, we have some uh, icons here that they are flashing. So here we have uh, one is a Bluetooth on and off switch and the volume, all right, for the Bluetooth. And the other blue indicator there on, on the top right corner is the app connection indicator uh, that in this case is flashing because the app is not connected, okay? If you have the app connected, this is going to be solid, uh, showing you that the connection between the amp and the app is established. Okay, enough for that. So let's get back a little bit to the control of the deamp, you have the basic uh, EQ um, that you will expect, or the basic controls that you will expect in some, some in any amp. You know the gain, and the presence, master, bass, middle, treble, and then we move uh, to the next uh, group of controls. In this case, uh, we are controlling this amp. The next control, uh, the next group of of, of controls is for the delay, in this case, because this particular chain is made with a delay there, so you have the mix, the time, um, feedback, and level, and finally, a reverb with its own control. So, this, this particular preset or patch has this um, configuration. Of course, this will change according to how your preset is made, uh, so it could, maybe not have a reverb and a delay, yeah, we will explore more on that. Now, going down here, you have the name of the module that you're using, so you can change it. Uh, of course, if you click on the name, you, you have the list, but if you go back, let me show you. Uh, if you just click the arrows, you can change the, the type of amp that uh, you are using. Same happens with these blocks. If you have, here is an analog delay, I can change it for a BBD or a tape delay, etc. Same with the reverb, we have a hole, we have a plate and spring, all the stuff that you would expect to see. Okay, now if you click on the name, you can access the scroll list for the, well in this case there's nothing to scroll because all the rivers are already here. Uh, you can choose a river from this type of list instead of going one by one with the arrow. Same happens with the, uh, the delay. In this case, yes, we can scroll delays because there, there are more than reverbs. And finally, well, not only delays, but you can also choose any other type of, of effects. We have chorus, flanger, uh, phaser, vibrator, rotary, tremolo, pitch, 
some special, some filter, etc. Okay, and finally, you can also change the amp by um, scrolling this list. You have very, very conveniently divided by clean, drive, high gain, bass, and acoustic amps. Okay, you have a, a acoustic preamp one and two, and bass, you have uh, in this version of the firmware, you have four models, then you have high gain, of course, you're going to have plenty to choose from, uh, drive, another bunch, and clean, of course, a lot to choose from. So basically, that's the way that you choose your, um, your amps and your effects. If you want to use the touch screen, I believe the, the, um, <clears throat> the operation of this uh, amplifier is much more convenient when you use the app on the phone because maybe you have this on, I don't know, some coffee table or somewhere far away from, from where you're playing, especially if you, if you use like a, like a wireless dongle, you know, that you don't need to be with a cable tied to the amplifier and you can just, you know, run around the house half naked, screaming and playing Van Halen. You probably will need the app to control the amp. So uh, that's, that's a very, very basic overview of how you control the touch screen and the, the, some, some preview of the UI. Of course, any change you can do, you can save it here. Now it shows up this little button that shows a save icon because it's showing you that you did some changes to this preset if you want to save them or not. You can click that and you save them. Of course, uh, you can also switch in between um, in between uh, views to have a more detailed view of each module. In this case, this is this is the detailed one, and this is just the big uh, global settings, if you will, of that preset. You have a tap tempo here to adjust the global tap tempo for, for your effects and, and everything else, and you have a gain and a master. Of course, this can be edited and you can add your own favorite, um, let's call it quick settings to this, this screen. So when you are here, you have everything, and when you press here, you have just the, the ones that you set at, as quick uh, access uh, knobs, let's say. That would be probably a good name for them. So. This is basically the screen, uh, the touch screen, the UI, the operation, very simple, very convenient. Of course, you have the output and input meters there to let you set your volume and your, your input uh, to the, the optimal level. Um, so it's pretty good. I mean, it has everything you need uh, to, to control the amp. It's not, that, does, that doesn't mean that you don't need the app, but you can totally get away without using the app and just using the dash screen. Okay, now I want to show you a little bit the, the, the app, uh, the companion app for uh, the, the polls. And uh, as soon as you open the app, um, you, you will find this screen where you can um, log in with your, your Hotton account. And I highly recommend that because in that way you will access all the sharing presets uh, functions. If you don't log in, you can still use the app normally, but you will miss a lot of good stuff. Uh, so I suggest you to, if you don't have one, to create a Hotton um, account, and then you can not only access uh, all of the goodies within this app and the, the Ampero Control app, but also you can use that um, account to sign into the, the community and, and the forum, etc. So it is worth to have one. In this case, I'm going to skip it uh, against my recommendation. As you can see how, let's do it again, because this is amazing, how fast it found the, the amp. It's right there. Around the top, it says Pulse BLE. So I select that and it gives you two options, it's connect to the selected device and search again. Anyway, I'm going to connect there and boom, right there. So um, we're going to see a very quick overview of, 
what do you have in the uh, here in the app? You have the edit. This this is probably the most interesting part and where you're going to spend the most time. So you can have all the blocks. This is uh, pretty much Ampero Ampero kind of uh, feel where you have the blocks where you can add different. Uh, in this case, for example, uh, well this this particular uh, block is off, but you can turn it on with this switch and you can add for example some boost or whatever you want before the amp and then you have your amp, your cap of course in the cap you have the option to load your own um, IR which th that's, that's probably one of the interesting things and then you have the EQ and two more uh, effect blocks all of them are movable and exchangeable this is another amazing thing so you if you really want to put your delay at the beginning uh, before the end because that's your thing or your EQ or whatever else there's no definite rule for that you can totally do it because this thing has enough enough flexibility to do it so now talking about IRs when you click on the cab here and then you click in the cap that, that you already selected, you have all the list of caps that the list of caps that you can uh, choose. But at the same time you can import okay your IRs. So it's going to open your file manager and from there you can import your IRs and then you can use it straight into the um, your signal chain. Uh, Okay, I need to cancel. <laughs> He's telling me bad, uh, bad habits die hard, guys. Anyway, um, so coming back a little bit to the, this is your si signal chain. And of course, here you have all the presets. So you can load any preset you want. You can do the changes to, the, to your taste. And then you save it as a uh, user preset. And that's it, ready to recall at any time you want. Um, right here on the bottom, you will see Cloud. In this case, we have nothing because uh, I didn't sign in, but these are all the functions to, for sharing uh, presets. Then you have the drums. This is very cool because you have the same controls that you have on the touch screen, but the difference is that you don't need to be next to the amp. So you can start. And exactly as I showed you before with the touch screen, do the tap tempo here, choose the type of rhythm that you want to use. And this is, this is really, really cool. Finally, settings. Um, you have exactly the same settings that you can access through the touch screen, the ones that I showed you at the very beginning when we were checking the menu here. And then you have... Um, when you go to my is where exactly where you can um, personalize the name of your amp so next time you can you know it's yours and it's not your girlfriend's uh, so one uh, another thing that I want to show you this is a very quick overview of the app guys actually there are much more details that you can go and check um, but I want to show you there is a song list there is a song list uh, mode, you have the, the playing mode, let's say, and the song list mode. This will allow you to create patches. For example, if you have a song list to each song, and then you just go one by one, and it will change the, 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 the presets or patches in that order, your song list order. And I think this is something that could be really, really cool, especially if you combine it with, for example, a um, Bluetooth MIDI controller like the Ampere Control, right? You can go in between this um, preset uh, song list automatically, and that will help a lot for your performance. It's something that I really would like to, to dig in more because um, this amp definitely can, can can take a, a gig in a small place like a coffee shop or even a small bar, I would say. Not to mention that you can also use a microphone. 
uh, in front and, and you, can, you can play whatever venue you want. Um, of course, it may not be your cup of tea for every single show, but for those, I don't know, for those that, that they, they know what I'm talking about. I mean, if you've been working with music, if you play in a cover band or like a party band or whatever, those side, you, you want to take the less possible gear, you know, and you want to carry the less stuff around. And this has everything you need, especially if you combine it with a MIDI controller, and it's pretty portable. Uh, I'm, it's, it's not a pocket amplifier by any means, but it's definitely smaller than any rig uh, that, you can, that you can imagine, right? So, okay, that was pretty much a quick overview for the app, is I have to tell you guys that it's extremely, extremely smooth. Of course, you don't take my my don't take my my word for it. You just go and try it by yourself. But I can feel that it's it's very smooth and it definitely, yeah. I mean, it's one shot. You don't need to you know click twenty times. Uh, it's very well mapped, so very easy to access. Well, of course, with the preset, you, do, you, you can do ex whatever you want, from rename it, save it, export it, upload it to the cloud, delete them, etc. So that's the app, the companion app for the polls. <laughs>
Okay, guys, and we get to the end, and I'm, I will tell you my, my two cents very quick. I think it's a great it's a great piece of gear to have laying around anywhere. It could be in your living room, you know, and just to jam with friends. Um, you can have it in your studio, use it as a monitor while you're recording, uh, even small gigs. I'm totally taking this uh, to small gigs because, unlike s s some, some of the comments that I've seen in, on some of the videos, this is uncomfortably loud for the studio. I never passed 50%, so you have an idea. And it was like, one more point and, and, and I f I, I'm going to start feeling uncomfortable. So it is loud enough. Um, of course, you can always put a mic in front and, and, and go crazy. I think it's useful. That's a word. It's useful. It's something that you will play every day with it. That's, that's my feeling. I think I, Leo Gibson said that. You will use it every day. I totally agree with Leo. Not to mention that you can play music with it through Bluetooth, etc. I mean, that is an extra that, even if it, it didn't have that feature, I, I would get it anyway. But, um, I don't know. Leave your comments, let me, let me know what you think, what questions you have. This is a pretty simple and straightforward product, doesn't, doesn't have any crazy hidden feature or anything, it's an amp. With a lot of good stuff inside, the app is a must. So if you get this amp, don't forget to download the app because it's 50% of the amp, it's uh, inside the app. Amp, app, amp, app. Okay, guys, that was all for now and I want to give special thanks to the, the, the members of the podcast group on Facebook because they stay there, they stick together and, and they keep uh, posting great stuff. Uh, hopefully soon we are going to come back with the podcast and with the giveaways and everything else. Thank you so much for spending time watching this. I did have a good time making this video and I hope you enjoy it. Take care. Bye.